Hey everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit. I'm here with my buddy Sam and Ricky today. So I decided I'm gonna do an eight week kind of cutting challenge here before I go on vacation. So I've got eight weeks till the trip and I wanna kinda of get as lean as possible. As you guys know, if you've been following the channel, I've had this pec tear, so I haven't been able to get as much muscle as I want recently, but still hitting the cardio and I wanna get as lean as possible before I can start lifting again. Hopefully by the time I leave for the trip or by the time I get back, I can finally start lifting again. So what we're gonna do basically is trying to shoot for a really clean eight weeks. No cheating would be ideal. Um, maybe like one cheat meal every once in a while. But the idea is every week, I'm not gonna plan on a cheat. If something happens, it happens, but I'm gonna try to really keep it clean. I'm gonna create a meal plan for the three of us, very similar to the meal plans I create for my clients, and try to stick with that as much as possible and try to kind of uh, see what we can do after eight weeks. Eight weeks is a pretty long time you're doing a cut, so we should be able to see some pretty significant results. Um, for me, it's just about kind of getting that lower ab area back. Um, for Sam and Ricky, they have different goals. We'll talk about that. I'm gonna show you kind of a little close up of all of us right now to see where we are. We'll check back in about four weeks and kind of see what the progress is looking like. And then of course, we'll do a final wrap up to kind of really judge uh, how well we did and if the results actually happen. So I'm gonna keep us on a caloric deficit every day, lots of cardio, about 40 minutes of hard cardio every day, intense stuff, maybe even some bonus cardio on top of that. Ricky will probably still be hitting a little bit of muscle, uh, a little bit of muscle work, a little bit of weights, and Sam will hit a little bit here and there. I'll probably, I'm gonna try to work myself into it, see if I can start doing some weights, but for the most part, I'm gonna focus on cardio, keeping the diet in check, really keeping that caloric deficit every single day and get as lean as I can. I'm not worried about numbers here. I'm not worried about the scale. I'll pop those numbers up, but I'm not really worried about them. So we'll check back with you guys in about four weeks, see how things are going. Uh, hopefully they're going really well at that point. If they're not, um, someone's fucking up or not eating right, then we'll know all about it. Because <laughs> Yeah, because uh, the scale doesn't really matter on that, right? If you don't see a difference in four weeks, something's not right. So let's get started with Ricky. Ricky's biggest goal here at the end of this eight weeks is just to get rid of that stomach a little bit. Um, Ricky actually started training with me years ago and we dropped about 60 pounds and he got in kind of the shape he's in now and maybe even a little bit leaner than now. He's kind of been slipping a little bit recently and just trying to get back on track, kind of get back to where he was, maybe even better. Get rid of a little bit of the stomach, keep building the muscle and uh, hopefully get as lean as possible. So Sam's goals are kind of the opposite of mine. He wants to really get lean and actually even get rid of some muscle. Um, Sam's big thing is he wants to look like better in clothing and wants to be able to wear kind of tighter, more form-fitting clothing without being so bulky. You can see he's a pretty big guy. He's got really big arms and big you know, chest and all that kind of stuff. So he wants to really lean out, lose probably 20 pounds over this eight-week period ideally. And uh, he doesn't even care if that involves he doesn't even really care if that includes muscle, so I think we can reach that goal if he really gets after it. Look at this sad son of a bitch here. This is crazy for me to see. You know, I knew I lost some muscle in the last couple months quite a bit, but after seeing the video, I was kind of amazed at how much muscle I've lost. My chest has almost like disappeared. I've probably lost 60% of the muscle in my chest. I haven't done a chest exercise in probably six months or so, and it really, really shows here. My arms have lost a lot of size. My back is far narrower. I'm, I've lost a lot of the lat and the broadening in that area. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a classic hard gainer. It's very difficult for me to put on muscle. And it also goes away really quickly if I don't keep it up. So this is really sad for me to watch, but I know that over the next eight weeks, I'm just gonna try to get as lean as possible, as cut as possible before I start bulking again. Once we get back from Italy, in September, I'm going to bulk really hard. I should be able to lift weights at that point and really get back in shape. So we'll see you guys in four weeks. Just hit the like button down below if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Shut down.